There are plenty of fish in the sea, but did you know there are also plenty of jellyfish out there? In fact, there are around 2,000 known types of jellyfish, with plenty more just waiting to be discovered. A jellyfish or sea jelly is an aquatic animal with a soft belly or body and usually long winding tentacles. Jellyfish come in different shapes, sizes, and colors. They vary in stinging power too, as some types are highly venomous while some are hardly painful. Whether you're getting ready to identify the different types of jellyfish for your next beach trip or simply curious, this guide is here for you. Keep on watching to learn about 15 different types of jellyfish, as well as two bonus species. Number 1. One of the largest species of jellyfish is the lion's mane jellyfish. Also known as the giant jellyfish, the lion's mane jellyfish has tentacles that grow up to 120 feet long. Their bodies can also grow up to a whopping 7 feet in diameter. As if its size wasn't enough to make you notice this jellyfish, the lion's mane jellyfish can also glow in the dark. This jellyfish lives in the cold waters of the Arctic and North Pacific Oceans, so you might encounter them when you venture into the waters of Alaska and Washington, D.C. Number 2. The moon jellyfish is a type of jellyfish that usually stays near the coast. The moon jellyfish or common jellyfish is a type of jellyfish that you'll often find in the warmer waters of the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. While it's easy to run into them when swimming in these areas, their sting is thankfully not fatal. However, this doesn't mean their stings aren't painful, so it's best to leave them alone during chance encounters. Despite living in the sea its whole life, the moon jellyfish isn't the best swimmer. Instead of swimming fast, it simply drifts with the current. Doing so helps it save energy. Number 3. The Black Sea Nettle Jellyfish is among the largest types of jellyfish in the world. While its ball diameter usually reaches around 3 feet, the Black Sea Nettle's oral arms can grow up to 25 feet long. Its tentacles can grow up to 8 feet long. Not much is known about this jellyfish's geographic distribution because sightings have become quite rare. However, it has appeared in the waters of the Pacific Ocean, especially in Southern California. The most recent sighting of a group of black sea nettles was in 2013, in South Laguna Beach, California. Number 4. The box jellyfish is known for its powerful venom. If you plan to visit the coasts of Northern Australia and the Indo-Pacific Ocean, keep your eyes out for the notorious box jellyfish. The box jellyfish has a powerful sting that instantly attacks a victim's nervous system and heart. The pain from the sting often causes a heart attack and it can also paralyze one's movements. The key to avoiding the box jellyfish's sting is knowing how to spot it right away. As its name suggests, the box jellyfish has a unique box-like body. It can grow up to 12 inches in diameter with tentacles of around 10 feet long. Number 5. The Irukandji jellyfish is the most dangerous stinger among all types of jellyfish. The Irukandji jellyfish is very small. Its body is only less than an inch wide and its four tentacles are around 3.3 feet long. However, don't underestimate this jellyfish just because of its size. The Irukandji jellyfish is actually a species of the box jellyfish, and it is known as one of the most venomous jellyfish species ever. After getting stung, the pain is mild, but after around 10 minutes, the stung area starts to swell. The overwhelming pain starts after 30 minutes and it spreads to the head, stomach, and limbs. Number 6. Unlike most types of jellyfish, the blood belly comb jelly doesn't sting its predators. As its name suggests, the blood belly comb jelly has a blood red stomach. It lives in the deep sea where it appears black in the darkness. Unlike most types of jellyfish, the blood belly comb jelly doesn't have stinging tentacles. Of course, this doesn't mean that this jellyfish is defenseless. Instead, the blood belly comb jelly uses its cilia to distract predators by releasing colorful lights in the water. Number 7. As its name suggests, the mauve stinger is a type of purple jellyfish. The mauve stinger or the purple striped jelly is a small species with a purple translucent bell. Despite its cute appearance, it delivers a powerful sting with its long tentacles and the small bumps on its bell. The mauve stinger populates the waters of the North Atlantic. 
At night, the mauve stinger resides in the deeper parts of the water. In the morning when it feeds, it moves to shallower waters. Number 8. On the other hand, the crystal jellyfish is a type of jellyfish with a translucent body. The crystal jellyfish is a species of jellyfish living off the west coast of North America. It has a translucent body that glows in the dark. Its body contains two bioluminescent proteins, which researchers often use for research. The equorin and green fluorescent protein of the crystal jellyfish have led to the advancement of several cell and bacteria research. Number 9. As its name suggests, the cauliflower jellyfish is a jellyfish that resembles a cauliflower. This jellyfish species has a bluish mauve bell with a cauliflower-shaped form on its bell. It grows around 1 foot in diameter and its arms are around 2.7 feet long. Its shape also resembles a crown, which is why people also call it the crown jellyfish. This jellyfish lurks in the waters of the Indo-Pacific and Eastern Atlantic Oceans. While the cauliflower jellyfish is one of the most venomous jellyfish species in the world, it is not harmful to humans. Number 10. The white-spotted jellyfish is notorious for being an invasive marine species. Also known as the floating bell, the white-spotted jellyfish has white spots all over its large semi-transparent body. This species is native to the southwest Pacific, but you'll find it almost anywhere in the world now as an invasive species. They feed on zooplankton, and they can clear over 50 cubic meters of them every day. Their big appetites often cause a food shortage for other aquatic animals that also feed on planktons. Number 11. Among the different types of jellyfish, the fried egg jellyfish's sting is one you don't have to worry about. Also known as the egg yolk jellyfish, the fried egg jellyfish is a large jellyfish that lives all over the world. But its population is high in the Sea of Japan and the Sea of Okhotsk. It has a translucent body with a yellow internal mass. Its body can reach up to 2 feet in diameter and its tentacles can grow up to 20 feet long. Despite its size, the tentacles of this jellyfish are mostly harmless. Their sting isn't painful and small fish even hide between the fried egg jellyfish's tentacles for protection. Number 12. The flower hat jellyfish may look pretty, but its sting is incredibly painful. The flower hat jellyfish lives near the coast of the waters of Brazil, Argentina, and Japan. From afar, it looks like a hat floating by the seagrass. The flower hat jellyfish has a translucent body that can grow up to 6 inches in diameter. Its sting isn't fatal, but it can be quite painful for some. It also causes a bright rash to develop on the stung area. Number 13. The Aetola jellyfish is a type of jellyfish that can glow in the dark. The Aetola jellyfish prefer to live in the deeper parts of the ocean, where the sunlight can no longer reach them. Because of this, the jellyfish uses its bioluminescence to navigate through the dark waters. The Aetola jellyfish is also called the Alarm jellyfish, because of how it uses its bioluminescence to escape predators. When the Aetola jellyfish detects a nearby predator, it produces a series of flashes to attract other predators to prey on its own attacker. Once another predator arrives, it quickly swims away. Number 14. The Narcomedusae jellyfish is a type of jellyfish that looks like Darth Vader from Star Wars. Here's an otherworldly type of jellyfish for you. The Narcomedusae jellyfish has a dome-shaped bell, and this shape often reminds people of Darth Vader, a fictional character from the popular franchise Star Wars. These strange-looking jellyfish live in all oceans of the world. Another interesting fact about the species is their double stomach pouches. They also house their young inside their bodies, until the baby is old enough to detach itself from the mother's body. Number 15. The pink mini jellyfish preys on other types of jellyfish. This type of jellyfish lives in the waters of the Atlantic Ocean, coastal Caribbean Sea, and the Gulf of Mexico. As its name suggests, the pink mini has a big pink body. It has long tentacles that can grow up to 70 feet. This large jellyfish uses its tentacles to capture other prey. The pink mini entangles other types of jellyfish in its long tentacles, and then it swallows them whole. The pink mini can even eat up to 34 jellyfish at a time. Number 16. The Portuguese man-o-war isn't a jellyfish, but it does look like one. 
People often mistake a Portuguese man -o -war or simply the man -o -war for a type of jellyfish, and it's no surprise because of its appearance. The man -o -war also has a soft body and long tentacles that pack a powerful sting. Thankfully, its sting is rarely fatal to humans. However, the Portuguese man -o -war sting can cause excruciating pain and welts. It can also paralyze and kill its prey, such as crustaceans and smaller fish. Number 17. The sea anemone is a close relative of the jellyfish. Sea anemones belong to the phylum Cnidaria, which is the same as corals and jellyfish. Like jellyfish, sea anemones are aquatic invertebrates. They have soft bodies without bones, brains, or hearts. They live near the coast of tropical waters. Sea anemones have a ring of tentacles. Their tentacles can also sting and capture prey. In the film Finding Nemo, the clownfish marlin lived in a sea anemone. A mucus layer over its body protected it from the sea anemone's sting. Jellyfish are among the most important predators in the open sea. They provide shelter and protection for smaller fish that can hide in their tentacles. The importance of their role in the ecosystem is undeniable. As jellyfish protect other aquatic animals, let's also do our part in protecting jellyfish from those that harm them. We can start by keeping their waters and our beaches clean. If you enjoyed our video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to our channel for more facts videos.